It's already established that After Effects is a powerful software used by creatives across many different creative industries. People wishing to kickstart their journeys in these industries flock to After Effects to learn and eventually master it to become fully equipped for their creative professions. Seeing how involved After Effects is in creative industries, it's no wonder that you or anyone would want to know all about the cost of this software. So, let's find out about all of this in depth. Well, yes. Yes, it does. Of course, After Effects costs money. With all the features and tools the software offers and its sheer power, it's only natural that it does. The catch with After Effects and all Adobe products is that when you want to purchase the software, you don't just pay and get a permanent license. You actually have to subscribe to the service. The upside to this is that After Effects and by extension all Adobe products get constant and regular updates. Improvements are always added and bugs are always fixed. In addition, it's common now that creatives charge their clients an Adobe fee to help pay their subscription. Alright, now let's explore the prices of After Effects in depth. The cost of After Effects varies greatly depending on which plan you choose. There are three types of plans. The first one is a standalone subscription, where you subscribe to After Effects and After Effects only. The second one is where you subscribe to the entire Adobe Creative Cloud, which basically means you get plenty of Adobe products, more than 20 software, alongside After Effects. And lastly, but not leastly, we have special offers where Adobe will give you special plans and prices if you are in a special position. We'll explore this further in a bit. As explained earlier, in this kind of plan, your subscription will only get you After Effects. You can either choose to commit to purchase an After Effects for the whole year and pay the subscription fees monthly. This would cost you roughly $21 per month. If, however, you would like to pay for the whole year in advance, that would cost you about $240. And lastly, if you want to pay for After Effects each month and not commit to an annual plan, that would cost you around 32 USD. The Creative Cloud plan is arguably the better deal of the two. Especially if you are a professional creative, you might want the versatility of the software provided. If you choose to subscribe to the Creative Cloud plan annually and pay for it monthly, it would cost you around 53 USD. If you want to pay for the whole year ahead, you would pay roughly 600 USD. If you would like to get this plan but only pay for it month for month without the annual commitment, that would cost about $80. Adobe offers special deals if you're not a regular individual getting the software, such as businesses, students and teachers, schools and universities. For instance, businesses can get After Effects for their whole department or the entire creative cloud, a management console, and instant asset syncing across devices for roughly 80 USD a month for the creative cloud and roughly 34 USD for the software standalone and these prices are per license. Students and teachers also get a special offer. They can get the Creative Cloud annual plan paid roughly 20 USD every month for their first year of purchase, and then roughly 30 USD after that. If they choose to prepay their annual subscription, their first year would cost about 240 USD, and after that, roughly 360 USD. When it comes to schools and universities, Creative Cloud is around 35 USD a month per license, and After Effects standalone is around $50 a month per license. One last special offer is for very big institutions. For this, Adobe has Creative Cloud for Enterprise, and the prices for that can be determined through consultation. The best plan for you when it comes to Adobe products is the one that fits your needs, obviously. We suspect that you're a creative that needs a variety of creative tools all the time. So, we highly recommend you get the annual monthly paid version of the Creative Cloud. Not only do you get a variety of tools, but you also get to save 33% in comparison to other offers. If paying these prices does not sound so hot to you, here are some free alternatives to After Effects. You have PowerDirector, Blender, Blackmagic Fusion, Natron, and Wax. We have reached the end of our video. We hope you enjoyed it. 
Comment below if you think that we've missed something or if you have any other suggestions. Thank you for watching as always and see you next time.